हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज न्यू सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस ऑन सिस्टम वेरी लॉग और वेरी लॉग इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी हेयर वी विल डिस्कस ऑप्टिमाइज सिस्टम वेरी लॉग कोडिंग स्टाइल्स एंड नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट अस गेट स्टार्टेड फ्रेंड्स ये स्टडे वी पब्लिश वन वीडियो वेर आई गेव यू दिस प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट एंड आई लेफ्ट दैट प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट अन आंसर्ड एंड आई प्रॉमिस यू दैट इन द इमीडिएट नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल गिव यू द सोल्यूशन As per my request, many of the viewers try to answer it in the comment section, and in this video, I will give you the solution that is proposed by many of our viewers. Now, before digging deep into the solution, let us repeat the problem statement. So, the first problem statement is on your screen, where you have to write a very log or system very log code for the following problem statement. And the problem statement is, if a 10-bit free running counter Value is greater than 511. Ten bit free running counter can count up to 1023 if its value is greater than 511. Input IP should be passed to output OP. Else, output OP should hold its previous value. That means if the value is less than or equal to 511, the output should be equal to its previous value. Now, friends, let us see what our viewers say. about the solution so this is the most commonly proposed solution by our viewers always at the rate positive edge of the clock or neg edge of the reset if negation of reset n count will be zero that means when reset is asserted count will be zero else count will increment its value by 1 because our counter is free running counter always at the rate positive edge of the clock if count is greater than equal to 511 why we put equal to here because count is calculated by this block and when it is its value is passed to the next block this always block it takes one cycle of delay that is why we need to write equal to sign also so if count is greater than equal to 511 output should be equal to input ip else output should be equal to output friends very important thing here to notice this should be your sequential block that means it should work at the clock never make this block as combination block by writing output is equal to output that will form a combination loop that is why we are taking sequential block here and because we are taking sequential block here and there will be one cycle of delay so we have to put equal to sign here friends with this i am going to end this video i hope that this would be quite informative for all of you if you also like this video Please press the like button and you can share your feedback in the comment section. And if you wish you can share this video with your friends and colleagues. And in future also we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and your support.